Hi everyone, it's Julie at This Beautiful Farm Life and today I am going to be making a jute bee skep for your garden. So the days are getting warmer and enjoying the warm days getting our garden ready and I uh, thought it'd be really fun to do a little um, craft project that you could use either in your yard um, for decoration or you could use it in your house. Um, not long ago, Magnolia had a store-wide um, spring reset, and one of the things that they had uh, featured was these little bee skeps, or actually they weren't little, they were very large bee skeps that they had handmade for a display. And it didn't sound like they really were for sale, but they had handmade all these beautiful bee skeps to hang over a display. So if you haven't seen those, I'll try to link um, a picture of those in the post, but I decided um, I wanted to make one. I used to have a really great um, twig bee skep that was down in the post in my herb garden, and it, over the years, it just kind of um, fell apart, and I haven't had one, so I thought I'm gonna try to make one. And so I'm not sure if I'll use this inside or outside, maybe both um, for inside for a while and then outside this summer, but um, I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So the basis is that we are gonna have um, some jute rope, um, I bought this one um, on Amazon. I'll put the link for it below. Um, I think it was a hundred feet and I think it's, it's either a quarter inch or three eighths inch, but I'll link that so you know. Um, I didn't really know how far it would go because I didn't know what a hundred feet of rope would really do. And so, or how big I was gonna make my bee skep. So I'm gonna start with a small one and if this turns out good and I enjoy it, I might try some larger rope and make a larger one too. So. So anyway, I have my rope, I have a hot glue gun, I have a pair of scissors, and I have a store ice cream bucket, just the generic ice cream that you buy at the grocery store. Um, and I have actually hot glued this to a piece of cardboard. So this is gonna be the base around which I'm gonna use my, uh, put my rope to make a form. It's not gonna be attached to this, so when I'm done, it won't be part of it, but it's just using it to make the shape. So. We're gonna see how this goes and hopefully it will work. So I'm gonna start above these little handle spots and um, I just have the end came already taped. So I'm just gonna leave that little piece of tape on there so it doesn't fray and bring this around and hot glue um, the first piece onto it. You wanna hot glue towards the back. Um, I think if it does glue to the bucket at all, it's not really gonna matter because it's gonna come right off from the plastic so I'm not really worried about that but I want to hot glue this towards the back so the glue isn't showing on the front and I'm just going to work my um, rope around and around and when we get up a ways I'm going to make a hole for the bees well it wouldn't be for real bees but to make it look like it's for the bees and then I'm going to keep on going on up and then I'll shape the top when we get there. That's what it's going to look like. There are some places where I can kind of see through it, so I might have to put a little bit more glue. But I think it's going to be cute, so we're going to just keep on working. reach the top of my bucket um, so I'm going to take it off and um, I was trying to loosen it at first when I first started just by moving it every few minutes um, up and down and then putting it back down and gluing again but then I kind of forgot so it got kind of stuck on um, but it's plastic so it just it did pop right off I just stuck a knife in there and just kind of broke the, the, the glue loose so now I can get it off of there and I can continue uh, this way in free form and then I can eventually start curving it in for my, my top. The 
sure to put your glue towards the back side of the string or the rope so that it, it doesn't show when you see it from the front. And I usually kind of pull it up like this and then squeeze it onto the glue so that it pulls any little bit of glue back with it. We're just going to continue shaping this inside here. We're just really carefully going to the inside with the glue all the way around. I think it's turning out really darling and I uh, wasn't really sure how this was gonna work but it's working out great now I'm gonna see if I can't put a little loop at the top Gonna tuck that into the bottom and twist this around it and see if we can't glue it all together. Okay, and there it is, my little bee skep. I didn't even use half of my rope, so I obviously have enough to make uh, maybe one more a little bigger if I can find. Um, a little bigger bucket um, than this one gallon bucket. I might make a little bit bigger one and then I'll have two to set together maybe up on the hutch. So, so I hope you enjoyed this little rope um, bee skip tutorial and uh, it was just a lot of fun to make and I'm really looking forward to trying another one and maybe in a little bit different shape this next time and maybe a little larger. And it's just been really fun. And I hope that you enjoyed this and that you'll hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up and come back and join me here in the farmhouse again next week for more fresh nourishing food, wholesome living, and simple farmhouse beauty. Bye now.